Thank you, Peter. And Jane and I are delighted to be here, uh, and we are especially grateful uh, to the people of the state of Vermont uh, who have chosen to send us back to Washington for a fourth term in the Senate. Uh, and sometimes Jane and I wonder whether that's something, <laughs> given what goes on in Washington, whether it's something that you know, we should be all that joyful about personally. But the reality is that our country faces, as all of you know, enormous crises. And Jane and I thought hard about whether or not we wanted another term, wanted to try for another term. But we felt we couldn't turn our backs on a country, our country and our state, at this terribly pivotal moment in American history. All of you know that what is at stake is whether or not the foundations of democracy, American democracy, remain intact, whether or not women will continue to have the constitutional right to control their own bodies, whether or not we are going to be bold and work with other countries to take on the existential threat of climate change so that the planet we leave our kids and future generations is healthy and habitable, whether or not we address the crisis of oligarchy in America and understand that never in American history have so few had so much wealth and so much power while 60% of the American people are struggling paycheck to paycheck. And never before in American history has our political system and our campaign finance system been more corrupted as a result of the disastrous Citizens United Supreme Court decision. And I hope that everybody knows, whether they're Republicans, Independents, or Democrats, that you're not living in a true democracy when billionaires are able to put hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars into presidential and state elections to elect the candidates of their choice. That's not democracy, that is oligarchy. So we've got a lot of work to do, and the good news is that on issue after issue, the truth is that the vast majority of the American people are coming together. If you go out and you talk to Republicans, Democrats, and Independents, and you say, is health care a human right? Should all people get health care as a human right? They will say, yes. Should we allow the drug companies and the insurance companies to make billions of dollars a year while people cannot afford health care? People will say no. Do people think that we should pay by far the highest prices in the world for prescription drugs? No. Do people think that billionaires should have an effective tax rate lower than a nurse or a truck driver? No, they don't. Do people think we should expand Medicare to cover dental, hearing, and vision, and home health care? Damn right they do. So the truth is that on a whole broad range of economic issues, the American people understand that we have got to have an economy and a government that work for all not just Elon Musk and his billionaire friends. So that's what our struggle is about. And let us hope that Kamala wins tonight. I've been proud to go to about seven or eight states doing my best to see that she wins. But whether she wins or not, our job is to bring people together around an agenda that works for all and not just the few. So once again, Jane and I are deeply grateful and moved by the generosity and support that we've received from people all over this state. So Vermont, thank you very, very much, and I pledge to you to work as hard as I can to protect the best interests of our state and our country. Thank you all very much.